Okay, so a lot of people are asking about how to get to Windows 11 before it's actually released. And in my case, I've got to it by simply taking my Windows 10 dev build, as you can see here, which is just the fast ring uh, from the Windows Insider program. And uh, in Windows Update, uh, well, I noticed my machine was very, very busy today. Wanted to know what's going on, so I look in the background, and of course, Windows Update's running. So I take a look and it says that Windows 11 is ready to install. So I, all I've done so far is click install, that's it. So just before we punt out of this and go through the rest of the process, let's just take a look here. So I'm going to click remind me later to get rid of this. And I'll get rid of my Winver here to, uh, so you can see the screen a little better. Uh, and if I go to the Windows Insider program here, you can see that I'm in the dev channel. Now I'm actually interested in getting out of the dev channel. And so I have gone into my preview builds here and I want to stop getting new releases as they come out because I am buried in new releases. I don't like getting the releases every week. However, the dev channel doesn't let you get out of it. Uh, I have to do a fresh install. So I'm kind of hoping, I'm well not kind of hoping, I'm hoping that this will allow me to get from the dev channel to the uh, slow ring, which is where I want to be. I want to get things early, but I don't want to be on the bleeding edge on this particular machine. Uh, currently, that's not possible with Windows 10. You can look it up. Uh, in Windows 10, as soon as you put yourself into the dev channel, the only way to get rid of it is to do a clean install. I'm hoping, again, that that changes with this Windows 11 build. Okay, enough of that. So let's get to it. So there is the Windows uh, uh, update and I will click restart now and that'll get me to Windows 11 uh, build 10.0.22000.51. All right, now I'm going to flip over to my, I have two, let me just pull back so you can see I have two screens, a 4K and I have an all-in-one 24 inch touch screen from Dell. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to get get old waiting for this to run. Okay, so this upgraded in about, I'd say about 10 minutes, which was pretty good. Now this is an, just go to this, hmm, interesting, right click. Okay, so I was going to right click and go to task manager, but that's been removed. So I'll go to control, alt, delete, go to task manager, and there it is, same columns. But you can see here, and this was really the point that the device I'm running, this Dell All-in-One is an eighth generation uh, Core i7 at 2.4 gigahertz, um, which is running six actual cores and six hyper threads. So, you know, pretty powerful, 12 gig of RAM. Okay, so we already have a video put together on a deeper dive into Windows 11, which I'll put up in the uh, top right hand corner right about now. And that lets you look at the registry, the power version of PowerShell, things like that, uh, and gives you a sense of what's different. And you can really tell that Windows 11 is really just a skin on Windows 10. It's a very minor update. Now, there are some cool things coming, things like being able to access Android apps from the store, but I'll put a lot of money, well, I don't exaggerate, I'll put some money that the cool features like that will also be coming to Windows 10 for those who are not upgrading. 
Right now, the big improvements, if you want to call them improvements, are the rounded windows. Uh, I don't care. Um, the new taskbar, I don't like it. Now I'm going to leave it like this, even though it's really not what I want. I, I don't like windows that expand. So let's just open up Word. And you'll see that the taskbar expands. I don't want it to expand. I want it to start from the left and keep moving to the right. Just keep getting larger as, as things get added. I don't like things moving around. Uh, I want consistency. It's the same thing with this. I hate this new menu so far. Now maybe I'll feel better about it later, but I don't like it. I want the start menu. I want this. And the reason I want that with things that I can pin is so that things are consistent. I don't want this, you know, sort of magic list here. This recommended list, by the way, are is just it's just out of your Office 365 uh, homepage. There's nothing particularly shocking there. Um, there's no reason that couldn't be available with Windows 10. They talk about widgets being cool. Sure they are, but widgets already exist in Windows 10. They're just down at the bottom right, isn't it, as we've shown in the video that we put together uh, last week in the deeper dive. So yes, there are some cool things that are coming, but they're not here yet. And this is really just an upgrade and a questionable upgrade at that to Windows 10. Most of the things that I see, I will probably turn off and I will probably go back to the old way of doing things after I've let them run for a while. So let's look at Windows Update here and see if I can now get out of the fast ring. So if I click on the Windows Insider program, I see I'm still in the dev or fast ring as it used to be called, ring, and I can't change down to these slower rings. However, if I go to, yeah, there it is, look. So if I go to stop getting preview builds, I'm queued for unenrollment. Now that is something that in Windows 10 was theoretically possible, but not practically possible. Apparently, this only functioned for those people who were in the two slower rings. They, so we'll have to see if when Windows 11 actually comes out, if I move from the fast ring uh, into a normal ring that I can control better. You can see here that this build is uh, built uh, uh, 22,000.51. Let's just type in Winver here and see if that's the same. I'd imagine it is, yeah. If you found this video useful, please click like. We'd really appreciate it as it helps with the Google algorithm. You can click uh, subscribe if this is the kind of thing you like because we talk about this uh, type of stuff quite a lot. Also, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you usually within a day or so, uh, or you can get, always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.